first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT 22 News, first in the morning. This afternoon, beer lovers will get to enjoy Brew Fest at the Century Center. And this morning, there's good news and bad news. The bad news, or I guess whoever you ask, it's sold out. So a lot of people are bummed about that, but it's still something to talk about and something to mark on your calendar for next year. I am with Bethany Sharon, brand ambassador with Round Barn Winery in Baroda, Michigan. You're one of the local breweries, distilleries, wineries that's going to be featured at the Brew Fest this afternoon. We are. We're excited to be there. Tell me about the business. Tell me about Round Barn. Uh, Round Barn uh, has been around for over 20 years making wine. About 10 years ago, we started making beer um, and two years ago we opened our brew pub um, in downtown Baroda, Michigan and this year we were named um, the Lake Michigan Shore uh, Chamber of Commerce's Business of the Year. So, wow so yeah. you've brought some different things that you do um, you know a lot of people go for different tastes or darker beer or lighter beer what is it that you guys really think you do really well? Our Kolsch is our, our best seller. It's a German blonde ale, really light and crisp, um, a nice stepping stone into craft beer if, if you know you're um, kind of a novice. Uh, but we're also bringing today our Indecision Ale, which is an amber ale. Um, <laughs> we have a, a beer called Hop Dealer, which is in this glass right here, mm -hmm. um, at 75 IBU, which means it's very, very happy. Um, <laughs> and then um, we also are bringing a beer called Crown Optimist, um, and it's in a, a French style strong ale. Awesome. Okay, so how do you think Michigan's beer scene stacks up against places around the country? I have a sibling who lives in Portland. She's all about the beer scene there. But Michigan's got it pretty good as we well. We do, we do. We have a ton of breweries and they're popping up all over. Um, and it's actually a really great community to be in. People always help each other out. And um, it's great to taste other people's beers and kind of bounce uh, ideas off each other and say, I think I can do that. I think I can do it better maybe. So, so Michigan just as good as some other places around the country. Absolutely. Okay, so Round Barn, do you guys give tours? Can people check out what you're doing? We do tastings. Um, every weekend at the Round Barn, you actually taste in uh, a Round Barn that came from Rochester, Indiana. Um, that was moved up with the help of the Amish and uh, reassembled on our property. Um, and then you can do a flight at the pub, so you can do a wine flight or a beer flight there. Um, and then in the summertime, we do live music every Saturday and Sunday. Um, outside, you can sit in the vineyard with a glass of wine or a glass of beer and, and have a great time. So. Does Round Barn have a website or a Facebook page? They do. Um, you can visit us at roundbarnwinery.com or our Facebook, just uh, our brew pub and our Round Barn uh, winery has both. So. And of course, this is the Brewfest website. So make that a favorite if you want to go to the Brewfest next year because we're told they're sold out with pre sale tickets, meaning no tickets will be sold at the door. Um, so that's a good sign for people who are interested in beer that, that this is gaining popularity in this area. Absolutely. Yep. Awesome. Thank you so thank much you. for joining us today. Thank we you. really appreciate it, Bethany. Thanks. Have fun today. Thank you. We will.